Hi, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this very simple, quick and easy receipt in Word. So let's open a new document. And just so that we've got a little bit more control, my cursor's at the top here. I'm just going to press the return key twice, then go to insert, table, click on the drop down, and then I'm going to select five columns and four rows. Then I'm going to select the whole of the table by clicking on this top left icon, going to table layout. I'm going to go to the height here and I'm going to change that to one and press enter. Then for the alignment of the text, I'm going to select align to center left for all of them, although I will be changing that a bit later on. So first of all, I'm going to put in our address. So I'm going to select these three cells here, make sure I'm on table layout and go to Merge Cells. And then again with these two, I'm going to do the same. And then in here, I'm just going to type all of my text. Now I've just copied and pasted that, but you just simply type it, press the return key. And then in here, I'm going to do exactly the same. You'll see my cursor is at the bottom here, but I'm going to select this icon here, which is aligned to top right. And then I'm just going to paste in my text. So this text here is exactly the same font. Let's just go to the Home tab. It's exactly the same font, but all I've done is I've increased the size of it and I've made it bold as well. So this row here is actually going to be a spacer between my next lot of informational text. So I'm just going to select that entire row and again go to Table Layout and select Merge Cells. Then down to this cell here, and with this one, I'm going to select all of the cells again, select Merge Cells, and then here, I'm just going to type in my text again, but again, I'm going to copy and paste it. And again, for this text here, I've just made it bold. And now I need to add a number of new rows because you can see we're running out. So again, Table Layout, go to this icon here that says Insert Below, I'm just going to keep clicking and once again we're going to select this row here and make this into a spacer before we come down here to the table. So the first column here will be our description of our products or services. So I'm going to grab this line here, just hover over it. When the cursor changes just click and drag it over. You can also move these over as well. Don't worry about the alignment because we'll sort all that out in a second and we'll make all of these equal. So here you just put in your description or your product. And once again, all I've done is I've kept to the same font. I've just made them all capitals and obviously turned that into bold again as well. To make all of these columns equal, just select them all by clicking and dragging across them all. Make sure you're on table layout and click on distribute columns. That will ensure they're now all equal. And once again, you can put in all your text across the top here. Again, I'm going to paste mine in. You can see for some reason that this one has aligned over to the left and so has this one. So we're gonna go back up to the alignment tools and select align to center. And then we're going to do that with the remainder of all of these columns. Just make sure they're all lined up to the center because this is where we'll be putting all of our information in. So go ahead and put in your information that you need. I'll just put in some demonstration text. Then once you've finished putting all of the items in, we're going to have a separate section here for all of your totals. So let's make a spacer row, select it again, table layout, merge cells. And once again here, we're just going to paste all of this information in. Now this information here, you'll have on all of your invoices. And then this information here is taken from obviously these up here. Now, once you've got most of your information in, you might want to customize this table because these lines do look a little clunky. So let's select the table, go to table design. And over in this section here, you can fully customize the border lines to your table. So I'm going to go to borders now and I'm going to select no borders. And as you can see, that's taken out every borderline of my table, but there are some borders I do want. So I can select the table again, go to borders and I can go down to grid lines. Now viewing the grid lines means they won't print, but you can just see where all your cells are. So I'm going to select this group of cells here 
I'm going to make sure my border lines are on a normal point, which is around about one. Go to borders. I'm going to select the inside horizontal borders of my selection. I'm also going to use the bottom border and the top border, which means that's the top border of my selection, the bottom border of my selection and the ones in between. Then I'm going to do exactly the same down here. The top border is already selected, but I'm going to leave that for a minute because I'm going to make that one a little bit thicker. I'm going to have a bottom border of my selection and inside borders. Now for the top border, I'm going to increase the size of it and make it three. Go to borders and select top border. And you can see now that line is slightly thicker than everything else. Now let's just take these grid lines off and here we can see what it now looks like. What I am going to do is just put some text at the bottom. So let's go back and put the grid lines in. And I'm going to move the table down slightly. I'm going to put another row here just to extend the spaces between this information and this table section here. So go to table layout and insert a row below. Then I'm going to put my cursor here, insert some more rows below. If you insert one too many, just press Command or Control Z to go backwards. And then I'm going to merge these bottom cells. So select them and select Merge Cells. And then in here, I'm going to put some text. And this is just regarding the payment of the invoice. Let's just select all of this text. Make sure you're on Table Layout. And we're going to go over to Align to Centre Left. And then Table Design and borders and take out view grid lines. So if you want to now put your logo at the top here, then just go to insert, pictures, picture from file, select the image you want, click insert. Now when you insert an image into Word, it will also mess up your page, but don't panic. All you need to do is make sure it's selected, go to picture format, go to wrap text and select in front of text. Then you can simply reduce the size of it and then you can move it anywhere you like. Now, as you move it, you can see it's a little bit clunky. So if you hold down your Alt or Option key while you're moving it, you'll see that it's a lot smoother. Now, you've got a large space at the bottom here. If you're not happy with that, then you can go to your margins, which go to the ruler at the side here. If you can't see your rulers, go to View. Make sure ruler's ticked here. Hover your cursor between the white and the grey section and click and just drag down to reduce the size of your margin. Then I'm going to place my cursor at the top here above my table and press the return key twice. And that would just give us a little bit more space at the top and just make the whole thing just look visually pleasing. So once you've finished doing this, you can actually save it as a template. But before you save it as a template, Make sure you don't put any information in because you'll want to fill it out time and time again. You don't want to keep taking all the information out if you saved it as a template. So if you want to do that, go to File, go to Save as Template. Make sure you change the name. Make sure it's in the Templates file here. And if it's not, just select from this list. Then go down to File Format. And again, make sure it's on Microsoft Word Templates. And then just click Save. In addition, you can just simply save it as a main document. Go to Save As. Again, you can save it as a receipt. Just save it where you want. I'm going to save mine to the desktop. And then File Format, you can just save this as a Word document and click Save. Now, if you can't be bothered to do any of this, but you really like the template, then I will leave a link in the description below for you to download it. So I hope that's helped you today, if it has. Please like and subscribe and have a great day.